Part 1 An Unauthorized Mission Grandpa! Alack, I've got a special story to tell you tonight. Really? What's it called? What's it called? Nevea. The year was 3078. That's when space travel was advancing, but you know our planet was deteriorating. The Earth was nearly destroyed by a nuclear war. A nuclear attack was commenced against the United States. Fifteen nuclear bombs have detonated in several areas across the country. People had to escape in their spaceships to the sky. They wandered blind into the uncharted territories as a last attempt to find life to save their race. Little did they know that the life they were searching for actually found them. They called themselves the Merits, a government branch of the SPF, the Star Police Force. The Merits were ruled by Commander Eldridge. The commander agreed to help the remaining civilization of Earth under one condition. All the remaining children up to 15 years old would become the next generation of the Merit. Of course, the people agreed. The kids were shipped off to a training facility on SPF Station E-14 that orbits the planet Edis. The evacuation shuttle has arrived. All crew, please board the shuttle in an orderly manner. Their technology was so advanced, it was like nothing we'd ever seen before. That's where Cade comes in. He was from that generation, from Earth. Graduated top of his class, becoming the first human to join the SPF under Commander Eldridge's task force merit. Access denied. PCOM required. Access denied. Access denied. Cade, where are you going? Come on, Araya, stop worrying. You have to enjoy this life. Think of all the places that have yet to be explored by mankind. If you get caught going on another unauthorized mission, this will be your third strike. I'm not going to get caught, unless you report me. Cade, why don't you ever listen? What? I can't keep covering for you again because I can't you know what you. happened last time. And you do I think we're breaking up. Hello? 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 Commander Eldridge had been taking food and water from the Mealea people for years, as Edis had no suitable habitat to grow food and provide drinkable water. Commander. Chief. As Commander Eldridge and the Chief make their way inside the Chief's headquarters, Cade spots them, grabs a disguise and slips around back past the two Merit soldiers listening in on their conversation. Please, this is all the gold that we could find in the mines. I don't care. You have to do better, or there will be consequences. You know what I'm looking for. Next month, if you haven't found this gem... Commander Eldridge held up a drawing of a crescent moon. Cade was only able to see it due to a beam of light that passed through the cloth the drawing was on. I will double the amount of crop and livestock taken. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Yes, sir. Great! I wouldn't want our little arrangement to end on bad terms. <gasps> what are you waiting for? Get it! Cade takes off into the dense jungle. He has two Merit soldiers chasing after him. Then out of nowhere, Cade gets tackled by one of them. Hey! Uh, gotcha! Uh, uh, Cade! Is that you? Hey, Jacob? Buddy, hey. long time no see. What are you doing here? Do you realize what you just got yourself into? Yeah, Eldridge is dirty, taking advantage and threatening these people. You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Oh. Sorry, pal. As Cade broke free from go. Officer Jacob, he saw more Merit soldiers right on his tail. 
He took one deep breath and made his run for it, further and further into the jungle. Are you okay? Kate opened his eyes to see a woman standing right above his head, staring straight down at him. She had the bluest eyes he had ever seen, with a strange, solid black circle painted between her eyebrows. I'm fine. <gasps> oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. But you're one of them. Your uniform. Hey, I think I saw something. Over there. We have to go now. <gasps> Shh! They're coming. What do they want? Me. They ran right up to the edge of the violent waterfall. Kate knew it was only a matter of time before the merit got to them. You're gonna have to trust me, okay? I don't even know you. I don't know your name. How do you expect me to trust you? It's Cade. Now your name, so I can trust you. Nevea. Well, Nevea. Cade then grabs Nevea's hand. You gotta jump now! Jumps off the cliff, into the water just in time for the Merit soldiers not to see them. But they're not in the clear yet. Cade had to make sure they stayed hidden in case the Merits were still searching for them, and pulled Nevea back under the water and gestured for her to wait one more minute. Cade then noticed the painted circle between Nevea's eyebrows was glowing blue in a crescent shape. He'd seen this crescent before. You know what I'm looking for? Next month, if you haven't found this gem... I can't believe this. This is not going to plan at all. The imbeciles! This is unacceptable! Did you find the culprit? No. He and some girl got away. Did he do that to your head? Yes, sir. Then you saw his face. No. No, I, I didn't I didn't get a look. Pathetic! You are one of my men, and I expect better! Until I have that man, this planet is on lockdown. No one is to leave without my permission. And you, the chief, get your men together and find that man! What? Is that the end? For tonight, it is. But what happens to Kate and Nevea? Does Commander Elgid find them? Listen, Alak. Next time, it's an even bigger adventure. Cade will go through great lengths to keep Nevea safe from Commander Eldridge with the help of his partner, Officer Araya. And as long as the secret is safe with Jacob, then Cade can learn Commander Eldridge's corrupt plans and expose them. and edited by Hannah Marie Mitchell, audio engineer, Zion Supreme Guerrero, script supervisor, Kyra Rigodo, Katz, Matthew Buds as Grandpa, Riker Schweitzer as Alak, Yasin Omar as Kate, Kylie Afini as Navaya, Kylie Afini as Commander Eldridge, Isaac Jimenez as Officer Jacob, Megan Perrine as Officer Araya, Zion Supreme Guerrero as Chief, Noah Schweitzer as Merit Officer Number One.